We had we had some exciting breaking news while we were on break. Um, something that actually directly pertains to this series. The box hat, that's going away. Because we received, in the mail just now, Oh, that fits great. Our Colorado Rockies hat. That actually fits really nice. I don't need all these stickers on there, though. The hat that we will be wearing during this series. So you know what's about to happen. You know, you know we're about to get traded, right? <laughs> so let's get right into the uh, AA All-Star game. It looks like we are batting fourth. We're just starting shortstop. Uh, Jackson Churio, I've, I've heard of him. I think he's on the Brewers organization. Sal Fralick, I've heard of him. Here are our pitching, our starting pitchers here. We're here in Seattle. The All-Star Futures game on tap today. It's the future stars from the National League taking on the future stars from the American League. Our first game at a... Uh... First pitch coming at, at a next. major league stadium. Hopefully not our last. Back at T-Mobile Park. Go. Second inning, not set to go. Stop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number 72. The wine I'm not used to seeing fans everywhere. He swings and hits a fly ball. <clears throat> and our bad luck continues in our first Dominguez inning. Makes the our first inning bad luck, away. I guess I should say. Colson Montgomery getting ready to hit. We might not get a whole lot of chances to get hits in this game. On the ground left side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Back in Seattle, Leading all off. set for the start of the Another inning. Shortstop. And now the shortstop, number, number 72. 72. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates... And we will get a homer in the All-Star game. Squared up, down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. They sent it out of here, and they grab the lead. It's one nothing. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. Still one out, base is empty. Number and the batter now, number 72. He's already homered here in this one. Two Here's homers. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot, and they tack on to their lead. It's 3-0. And just like that, his home run streak is up to six. That doesn't count. Oh, he's an absolute machine an game. working really well at the plate right now. He just can't miss every time he swings. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. And welcome back. Now the left fielder, Sal Fralick. Six inning, this is about where we might be, uh, and a pitch. might be sub four. On the ground, out to short. On the run. And I didn't need to move to that uh, target at all. Out on a bang-bang play, but he made it close. No, we're, we are going to get now another at that. Short stop, number 72. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Are we that getting a third? I think we are. That's going back. Back some more. 
And that ball is gone. Somebody is showing off in the All-Star game. Third home run of the game, and they throw a pair on the board. It's five zip. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one. And Run around at first with one gone. Stepping in, Colton Kowser. 3-2 down. Ground ball up the middle, and that's a base hit. Lead you are told, sir. Second. Throw into third. Not really? Time. He's okay. Safe. Well, we still win. 6-0 is how this one ends. I'm assuming that's going to be all-star MVP numbers, right? Driving in, uh, what did we drive in? At least four. Although the pitcher didn't do too bad either, so. Okay, this is where we want to see the, the call to the... Uh, Inferences drawn from season this, statistics. Oh, this is where we want to see the uh, um, areas of improvement. The call into the uh, office, letting us know that we are no longer going to be playing for Hartford. So hopefully we'll be seeing that shortly. Moose is only hitting 196, so it, it doesn't look like he's uh, going to be called up. But hopefully we will be. So almost ready to get underway. That and cool. on the mound today, That's Peter cool. Lambert. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a jam. So there's our first first inning game. homer. That's a base or hit. sorry, comes in our first third. first inning hit and he's in, in way third. too long. A run comes in on the play. Considering we had some off days in there, close to a week. Damage, and he squared it up nicely. We are looking for our 100th homer of the year. Singleton drove in a run his first time through. And foul ball. And today is draft day, singing an exciting day in terms of the future of the sport and the future of these teams. It's also changed a lot in terms of... There's Homer, number 100, as now he's trying to talk about the draft. Back there, Does mean that there's going to be more players, so maybe they That's maybe they want to make some room for some other players, and they want to push me up the ladder. The year, and they add a couple more. It's 4 nothing. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face. Number 72 will hit Number next. 72. He's already homered in this game. That might get down. It did. And passed. Man, I wish that was to right field. That one I might have been able to turn into a triple. Third hit for him this afternoon. Well, Singy, he is Which, by the way, we're short that triple for our cycle. Welcome back. New inning getting started. So let's let's now try. Let's do our best to try and hit it to the opposite field. Next at bat. See if it's at all possible to get that triple. Uh, we're halfway through the season. We have zero triples so far, so it's not likely. Let's 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 hit back. See what we can do. I'd love to see this one bounce off a wall and away from the player. Found the gap. Ball to right center. And that should be extra bases. We can't. First, we can't. Two. We would be and so toast. Of the game. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard. Back here at the it just would have been the stupid. Alex de Jesus. The cutoff man had the ball before we hit second base. Up the middle. It just would have been a dumb move. Lead off man is out here in the eight. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant. Are we going back to the dugout or the clubhouse? That can't be the end of the series. Can it? Oh. 
that why we're getting going back to the clubhouse? Do we have to go see the manager? Our fingers are crossed. We have a decent lead. We have a really good lead. I don't know why we had to go back. Oh, that was the future? Wait. When was the futures game? Did we leave? Did we leave the, uh, the our team to go play in the Futures game? I'm so confused. Well, let's play a second All-Star game, I guess. Welcome in, everybody. Glad We're in Colorado. This is our Stanley home ballpark, All guys. Action coming up on the show. It's the Southwest Division All-Stars taking on the All-Stars from the Northeast Division. That's us. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. I, I don't know what happened. Okay. One down. Trey Harris, the next to hit. Runner takes off. Hit weakly on the ground. I mean, that was the Futures game. I know that. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. But I thought... I, I didn't know that we left. Back here in Denver, <laughs> we head to the bottom of the second, and the batter will be the shortstop. And we 72. left our team high and dry while we went and played in an All-Star game. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's our first there. at bat at our home stadium. And we already know what it's like to hit a homer he there. A rocket to left, and we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch. Man at second with one away. Number at the play. Number 72. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Hammer. And now maybe extra bases. I guess maybe I uh, headed for the plate. He will score. I ended the last episode a little too early, and the time which is okay because uh, we got to go get our uh, our Jeez. mail and see that the see, hat that came. That was a laser shot, and a good thing we have stacked. Petey Halpin now, now at the plate. Fielder, Petey Halpin. The kick, the three-two. So maybe some of those players that we were playing with a minute ago were uh, are uh, AAA players. A base hit. Safe at first as they can't make the play. The first baseman, number seven. All right, here's our chance to tie it up. I think this is the double-A All-Star game. I don't know. And first offering is I like the blue. Back, a six -four right I like that color blue on the helmet. years old. And he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2018. All right, one time, right here. One down, base is empty. Left field, way back there. Die game. And it's gone. They're going crazy in the dugout, and this game. Is... So digging in. I mean, obviously Sandy we gotta we gotta win the game if we want the All Star. Uh, MVP. Bounce to the left side. And that one finds its way through. Tough spot for the pinch hitter, and he delivers. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally and physically <clears throat> ready. Now a move being made for a pinch and, hitter. Yep, we are Castro. getting and some chaps. And we lost. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Keep pitching and defense. Cool. I think I may have, uh, yeah, I'm, I, I think we're caught up now. Did I play two ball games in one day? <laughs> Did I fly across the country? I don't know, but this is, I think, where we get the two days off. Three days off.
A double-A manager has called one of his young players in for a quick word. Some, oh no. Every kid gets drafted thinking he's on his way to the big leads. As you may have begun to notice, that is just not the case. What if uh, if I did something wrong? Let me know. I want to make it right. This guy's messing with me. I know it's going to take hard work. Let's do that. The word is good. We're off to Triple A. Woohoo! Holy cow! Within 48 hours, this player will be in a new city and putting on a. Before the break, we were talking about how exciting it is. So yeah, Albuquerque play. playing Salt Lake. We get to. Uh, we do have a above 500 record. Guys, we did it. We're one step closer to the bigs. I knew he was messing with me. I knew that guy was messing with me the second he pulled, pulled me into his office. Red Rock Stadium, Triple A baseball on MLB Here's our new the home. Show. It's the Salt Lake Bees and the Albuquerque Isotopes. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Albuquerque. And here's the catcher, Anthony Mulrod. And Boog, I'd say he's due. At the belt five. Oh, those numbers look awful. They're so ugly. <laughs> Gets under and pops it up. He's under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. So they get three runs in the inning, but they also leave the base. All right, so we do five get our first at bat coming, coming up here. And now the shortstop, number 72. Shortstop. Good defender. He's number been inconsistent 72. offensively. What? He wants to stay out of the double play what do you mean I've been inconsistent in offensively? Should be an I'm hitting almost 700. I have 100 homers this season. That's a big wall field. out there. Well Banks off the wall. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. And that hit has some extra significance for him. His first knock at Triple A. I'm sure he's excited to check that off his to-do list. Yeah, it may not mean as much as his first hit in the majors will, but it's still a nice accomplishment. Hey, we'll and keep the ball. It's a side to him that he can hold his own at this level. There are a lot of big league players around him. Now it's about establishing. Now the batter will be the shortstop. Inconsistent number offensively. One one with a double and a this guy score. doesn't know what he's talking about. And first offering is fouled off. Hey, let her in. One, time. one down, base is empty. That could well, be it. Left. That could be our first homer. And Scoreboard left. shot, five runs. So he leaves the yard to left, and we're all square. It's 3-3. That is his first home run in AAA. A nice little milestone for him on his path to the bigs. Yeah, Boog, the more power he shows at this level, the more anxious the organization's going to be to call him up to the show. He won't want to sacrifice consistency for power, but I'll tell you, nothing gets you noticed more. Base is empty, one away. Now it's the shortstop. Also, we, we're, we're, we're all tied now. He's already homered in this game. Foul ball there. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the the font on the back of these jerseys. Crushed in the air, left center field, way back there, no doubt about it. That one felt good, and they jump out front. It's 4-3. And welcome we back. And here this is inconsistent offensive hitter has not number gotten out yet. The pitch. And that one hammered. Gone! He's done it again, and they boost their lead. It's 7-5. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. It's fun seeing a different uniform, though. He's putting on quite the show at the dish. Now, man at first with one gone. Number 72. number 72. Getting ready to hit. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. 
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Part of the order coming through now. I like that we're hitting third now, too. I know we've been switching between third and fourth. I hope hitting third continues. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Here comes a pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. I don't think he's going to be playing in Albuquerque for all that long. He'll circle the bases, his fourth home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 10 5. Those Salt Lake logos look like a college a, a team. Something they would have. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four homer game, they're just so rare, they're so special, and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for them. Topes win. A nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the same. Tie for nice five job. homer, uh, five homer, uh, final, sorry, four homers and a double. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm not a bad start. Saying, so long. <clears throat> Just about set to go now. So here's the lefty, Josh Rogers. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change Batting up the third. look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up Nothing. the baseball. That's a good we'll OPS. <laughs> 4.6. So next, number 72, a five-hit ball game yesterday. So we'll see how he backs it up here. That one ripped. At least into the gap. And that one is off the wall. No, 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 no. I almost went for it. And they'll score first. It's one zip. If the guy on third was a little bit slower, maybe. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. One gone runner at first. Matt Thice comes up to hit here. Matt Thice. Tap back up the middle. One at second. Throw to first. Oh, I would like to see a replay on that. I'm not sure I agree. To get through these first two innings with under 20. First and second, two down. Next to hit, number 72. He doubled home a run in his first AB. Hard hit left side. Play made that ends the inning. So it's that no may be our first hit, no time getting out in double. Two left. Triple A. Sorry. <clears throat> One out, runner at second. And next is the designated hitter, Levon Soto. Went down on strikes his first time through. Out to short. Sends it across to first. Play is made, two out. Here's Joe Adele. This guy one of the this best contact of. men in the sport as well. Outstanding on the defensive end. Out to short. Oh, I think I need to. Okay. I'm like, why do you need me to dive? I can get to that. But I think they want me diving on the line. Breaking ball down. And here is Anthony I assumed that that's where the ball was going to be. Because that's where the ball is with all these other... Hit on the ground to the right side. They get one. The tag gets him, and it's a double play. That was an interesting double play. In no runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On. Levon Soto digs in now. Out to short. Boots it. Oh, come on. And he'll be safe at first. <laughs> Hard to tell exactly what went wrong right there. That was a fairly routine ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to stick in the glove. Might have taken his eye off it a little early, but regardless, you're going to have to work around that error. And it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Now One out, base is empty. Number and down the shortstop, number 72. Webb back to work. 
And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That it's wall is going to make things interesting. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That pitch came off the bat. So bottom of the ninth, here's the shortstop at the plate. You know what we want to do, right? Warren, 26 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2018. Single or better to work on the contact. You know what we want to do, though. We want to hit it out of this park. And a foul ball. Because, you know, he's so inconsistent offensively. Golden one now. Walks it off in his second triple-A game. Santa Maria. And they get a walk-off win, six to five. Welcome to triple-A, Igor. Where we still celebrate at two frames per second. Hitting a walk-off homer is the kind of thing you dream about growing up. You're in the backyard, you're creating the most pressure-packed scenario, and what do you do? You come through with the big swing. Well, he was living a childhood moment right there. Nice swing of the bat, nice win for the team. Levon Soto. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. It's kind of slow. Boswell. Did we get him? Second. Yeah, we Not got the guy at second at, at least. It's a fielder's choice. Here's Joe Adele. Three for ten like in the series so far. Ten. Joe Adele. On the ground. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Boogie doesn't care how he does it. He just wants to get on base. Ready to go <laughs> for the last half of the inning. Well, off number 72. <laughs> number 72. It is not the best start for the Albuquerque Isotopes. The right-hander back to work. Hit hard on the ground is short. Jackson tosses the first. One up, one down. Man at first. Seven Number runs 72. in the first two innings. We'll hit next. 0 for 1 so far. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Single, you Montero. say. Montero around second, headed for third. Montero coming home. The relay He's throw. So out. The tag, and that's out. Number three, inning over. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 72. They gave me a single for that? I was so on the base. Okay, the guy said... I just want that not to be a single because I made such a big deal of him saying, Oh, single, you say. That one is absolutely belted. Adele moving back on it. Out of here! Barely. Seven, 373, that... It's his sixth home run of the Just season. Just barely got over that wall. Lead. 388. Nine consecutive games with a home run. They'll just dialed in at the pitch right there. now. Nine games in a row. That's just unthinkable. Congrats to him. Power versus power right now. The comeback so starts now. Aaron Whitefield. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Whitefield. On the ground, two ball. On the second, they get got one. them both. On the first, out, double play. Just got it there in time. And that run did not score. So two on, but two we away. could and next bring us back up. within one. He's already homered here in this one. After going down seven nothing. What a stop! Dang. Over the first. It's there, and that's a great play. 
Two men left. Now here is Edgar Caro. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Well, you're not going to win them all. Gets it to first. They limit the damage here. We got two innings to try and score at least five runs. Now it's the shortstop, number seventy-two. He's already homered. Make that game. one inning to score four. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Wands, the tall righty, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round. Slides, but it's he can't through. come up with it. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. And your final. It looks like we did end up. Uh, Chris Singleton we did end up uh, um, scoring. Clubhouse looks a little nicer. All right, so we're going to Sugarland, Sacramento. I'm just curious. We are going. Okay, we are going to to visit the Round Rock Express. Uh, that was my uh, hometown team for a while. I was uh, I was just outside of Round Rock, so we got to go to a lot of those games. So I I was hoping that I would get to see that stadium. Or I know it's not that stadium because it's a AAA stadium, but. Uh, looks like we will get there, assuming we're still on the team. Uh, but we'll continue that next time uh, with part nine of our Igor Federelli Road to the Show series. I will see you then.